That's a lot of stability. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of stability. Stability is good, isn't it? Stability is good. Everybody wants stability. Up in the north, Chief Common Curium is hosting a grand feast at his clan hall. Our plans are going better than expected. The Spymaster thinks that all is well in the kingdom. Common Curium, huh? Thanks, Thanks to her lack of attention, I've recruited troops from among the hill folk north of the border, even if it's forbidden. No Feather Phoenix. Terrifying. Nine is a bit high. The north is fucking strong. The north is strong. Okay. Okay. Things are proceeding better than I ever imagined. Our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own agents. Uh, <sighs> getting our own people in now. You fucking Vikings couldn't just stick to your beer, could you? Now you're getting now you're getting lofty ambitions, huh? Okay. Well, they're loyal. They're loyal. <laughs> Indeed, the honor guarders are incorruptible, but the watch are another story. If the king can't pay them, they will look for money elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. I married in, all right? For the next stage of their scheme, the chiefs must lower the treasury to 1,500 or less in two seasons. Do you or do you not want the next, the next on the throne, the next heir, the next king to be of the Hayabusa Nero clan. What are we doing, guys? Do you not, is that not, is that, I thought that was what you wanted. Uh, late at night. Excuse me. Late at night, two counts meet in an ancient stone cemetery to discuss their schemes against the king. Two of them. Our grain stores are looking good. Enough to endure a famine. Better than the rest of the kingdom, I'd say. Shinjakin Deimos. Yes, how delightful. But won't summoning this demon be difficult? It's magic beyond our usual fare. This guy's holding a skull. Barren bran flakes of the east. Count Baron. <laughs> yeah, that's... Don't worry about it. <laughs> who, are, who are you? <laughs> the walls of reality are sturdy, but they can be weakened. The tide of blood must swallow this kingdom in its wake. Chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. God fucking nerds to the east for the next stage of their scheme the counts must lower stability to four or less in two seasons <gasps> oh so they want stability to go down while they, they want, want stability to go, to go up well then whatever will happen Stability is a rather fickle thing, you know? One um, moment everything is perfectly balanced. And the next... Um... Wait. Actually, no, the chief's uh, goal changed, right? Yes, yeah, so Oh yeah, they're just back. trying to get the money down. Okay, stability. Got it. True. All right. True, 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 true. The okay, so when when the goal when the second step gets introduced, the previous goal gets erased. Raise your trade. 
Oh. I thought the old goal would stay, and then a new one gets introduced as a different victor, like another condition. I see. Okay, 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 okay. No. So it actually just becomes one thing. Oh, okay. They tell you it changes. Yeah, okay. Got it. Got it. That's important to know. All right. Money down. Trade up. Five and two seasons. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's already at five for them. Well, and then stability needs to go down quite a bit. Good luck. Uh -huh. Fucking gothic nerds. Stability? <laughs> <laughs> On what planet? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Usually why? Yeah. Which fucking Jonan Vasquez comic is gonna teach you stability? <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Your Majesty, these upstarts are saying they have a right to your throne. No doubt the nobles are already scheming the cr to crown their region's preferred claimant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, guys. Hey. Warning. Hey. hey, 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 hey. You need eggs. Yes. Let's get it in gear. What the fuck's going Genophage? <laughs> what? Genophage is just a dude with an axe. <laughs> Sir Genophage here. <laughs> Reporting for duty. Yes. Gen O Phage. <laughs> actually. Uh huh. Rising tempers. A menacing omen. An invitation. Rising tempers. Ah, wolves wing sense information. You want to try that again? Oh, uh, Will's Worthington. I have something I need to discuss with you. Bay? Uh, that oath baron, Shogil, challenged my honor, calling me a coward only fit to fight training dummies. Exo Jurl said what? I must regain my honor by fighting them at once. Um. Okay, can you, like, go pee on this strip? for a minute and then decide hmm hmm no alright fuck him up fuck him up Marta fuck him up by Morgana's cauldron I will not to worry the very next day Baron Shoujiro is summoned to the fighting ring for the much anticipated duel I'm going with Exo Jiro because of Exo Jane Okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. Here we go. You've always been a coward, Marta. Don't worry. There's still time to back down. Oh, shit. Scan up and down. See, you're okay. Looking for weak points. Scanning. Weave. Snatched. <laughs> <laughs> Nails. Plucked. Yo, weak points detected. You gotta snatch that shit, do a cartwheel, and yeet it into the crowd. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, you can stay silent. What? Cheer for one of them. That's wild. You could actually be like, yeah, let's go, random other girl. <laughs> That's insane. Yo. Marta, North, you doing your thing? Marta, looking at your your pockets right now. Looking at my pockets, yo, Marta. Uh, mm hmm. Exo Joe wearing red, huh? Okay. All right, Marta. Marta grins ever so slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Anime grin. The two combatants sh circle each other like lions, their axes drawn and pointed at each other. 
when they finally come to blows, the fight is all over almost as quickly as it begins. A quick parry here, a thrust there, and Sonikara <gasps> is holding up her hands in a display of surrender. Battle wife, what? Wow, first loss. Unless he was just talking shit, you know? She was oh talking a lot. Oh my god. Maybe it was all talk. Ayo, hey, Chiefs. Chiefs. Yo, come get your girl. What the fuck was that? Not worthy of the seed? I don't know, man. That's wild. I surrender. You win. <laughs> well fought, Baron. Marta's face is a storm of anger and humiliation. Baron Exogerl merely laughs. Better luck next time. At least you've proven you're not a coward. Just an up to the blade, despite all that practice. Woof. Marta barely speaks to you over the coming weeks. Instead, she spends most of her time in the practice yard, angrily swinging at the dummies from, dusk, from dawn till dusk. Damn. Wife has officially become dead weight. I don't know, man. Man. After talking up such a big game, I don't know. Well, she thought she was good, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe like 800 hours mm -hmm. Ten, on the yeah, Steam account, you know, playing uh, Axe, but, but, Axe Wielders. But, but not 10,000 is what not you're 10, saying. Not 10,000. Not 10,000 hours. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know, you're only as strong as the people that you play with, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It takes a genius to ascend above the rest. Absolutely. And Chiefs. Ew. <laughs> yep. That doesn't look good on you. A genius is a genius, after all. And and uh, an underdog is an underdog, mm -hmm. or whatever the fucking Makainu translates <laughs> into. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. These are people. These are not a, a group of stats that I'm, I'm, I'm eyeballing as they argue with each other. Don't you worry about it. Okay. Marta is swinging. And you know what? That's good. I need that fire. Mm -hmm. As long as it's properly directed. As long as it's properly mm -hmm. directed. Show me that fire. Mm -hmm. An invitation. In the east. Without a word. Count Dapper. Without a Cactua. word. Count Dapper Cactua hands you a blood red envelope. It is sealed with white wax in the shape of a skull. Hmm. He also hands you a bottle of a mystery elixir from the depths of Chicago. Wait, that was Dapper Cadaver. Yep. <laughs> Never mind. Forget it. Inside is a beautifully written invitation to an event called Crimson Vigil, due to take place on an autumn night later in the year. Hmm. What's this all about, then? A red vigil, you say? I can say no more. You must choose whether to accept our invitation or to decline it. What? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Gotcha. Right. Mr. Mr. Mystery Mystery Invitation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. Got, I gotta know if you're in. Yeah. You're in. Yeah. 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 What, what you got? What you got? What you got going on over there? <laughs> what y'all got going on over there? You got some? You got some shit going on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you looking for a good time? Uh-huh. Uh, now, Hand of the King, how would you handle an invite from the Counts of the East, uh, lands recently trampled, monsters recently released, um, defiance recently raised? Damn. Uh, you think they don't want you in the neighborhood? I mean... I think whatever can affect stability 
would be of interest. So, Hand, Hand of the King, what, what say you about this invitation? Yo, I'm not for a party. Yeah? <laughs> but an invitation royally. Do you think anyone would... Would, would anyone dare? No. Everybody loves the king, right? <laughs> Trusted, loyal hand. Everybody loves the king. Wise and trusted loyal hand. You think this attend you think this event sounds like a good time? Might be some nice people to meet, you know? The the wife isn't happy right now, so might as well go change our minds. Alright, trusted loyal hand. Second in command. You've been with me for five seasons now. Mm-hmm. If you say so. I will see you at the next visual, your majesty. Oh. -ho. A menacing omen. Scary, scary. Count PM Avers. Your grace, here in the east we have a hair problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That doesn't sound so bad. Oh, lamentably, it's a dire omen. The town of Yurovsk holds a spring festival welcoming the warmth back to our desolate lands. But this year, we were forced to miss it. Hand of the King Reggie. Yes, sire. Your last name wouldn't happen to be Side, would it? Oh, um, no, <laughs> no, uh, I do not it side would, you, with the sides. You don't, you don't, you don't hail from the Side Clan, do you? <laughs> no. Okay, just making sure then. <laughs> mm -hmm. The town of Yurovsk, Yurovsk holds a spring festival, welcoming the warmth back to our desolate lands. It seems we're forced to miss it. The fabled hare known as the Pale Beast of Yurovsk appears and officially begins the festival, but not this year. The surfs grow restless. Its white as snow, the size of a large dog, bears majestic coiled antlers. And is delicious with parsnips. That ain't no bunny. Thanks, Rakadishu. Gathered nobles gasp. Then fall silent. Seventh, take us. You ate the pale beast of yours. Oh my god. It popped onto my lands. I thought it was just a rare sort of rabbit. Didn't the eyes on the inside clue you off as to the fact that you shouldn't eat it? This monster has eaten the fabled pale beast of Yurovsk, casting a shadow upon the coming year, the coming decade, in fact. Oh, it's not just a hare. The pale beast possesses... Possessed powers beyond our understanding. Your majesty, please bring down the weight of justice on this wretch. Mm, the barons have eaten the count's mythical beast. How should the monarch resolve the argument? Must Baron Rakadishu confess, confess publicly and compensate the counts for his crime? Should we discreetly call the merchants to find a fake pale beast of Yurovsk? Or should we just say, ah, it's not my problem. <laughs> Y'all figure it out. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well. Well, I don't think, I don't think we'll be ignoring the situation uh, anytime soon. I, I don't think we, uh, I don't think we want that. Um, therefore, let's see how this goes. Fucking dress up a bunny for all you want. Sounds like a good plan. Ding, 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 ding. Mm-hmm. 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 That seems to be oh. the lead. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, 
Ooh, well, that's closer than I thought. Damn. That's really close. How did it get so close? That's crazy. Wow, look how close it is. Unbelievable. The voting is closed. Just like that, at the last second, B clutches it out. Let's get a fake beast in there. Wow. Let's drop some antlers on a dog. Damn. Yo, Baron, stay eating. <laughs> Count PM Avers quietly contacts merchants to obtain a suitably large and snowy looking hair, but the best they can find are rabbits dusted in chalk. Trade challenge failed. Oh. In the end, Count PM Avers claims that he saw the white hair and the festival goes ahead, but even so, the peasants of Europe remain unsettled for some time. Mm. Stability goes down to civility. And defiance is now insolent. I see. I see. Good, good. <coughs> Very well then. Hand of the king. I don't think things went uh, as as expected as there. Expected, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how do you feel about the kingdom and the state it's in right now? I feel like you, uh, you sort of have control over this currently. But you still do not have a hair. That problem is in the past, my friend. An air. An air. An air. Pun. Pun was missed due to the the French H. My my mistake. My mistake. <laughs> Classic. Hey, it's that time again. Time for another auction. All right. Barons stay winning, except when it comes to riches, because the balance has been uh, fucked up. But what do we got? We got. Look at that. Trade opportunities. We see what, what, what people are looking for. We got stability. Stability is interesting. Trade is interesting. We got farming for Deer Park. Nara. <laughs> yeah. We got military. Already terrifying. I don't know much more uh, what else you'd call it. And we've got uh, faith and stability. Clearly they need more military. Have you seen the state of their women? I think they do. Oh. I couldn't, certainly couldn't hurt now. Lost could a it? rando. Mm hmm. Now, 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 nobles, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how about we get that trade going and how we about we drop that stability, right? I know that's what you're thinking, but, well, what if more stability and less faith? Huh? That's huh? an offer. Yeah. Oh. oh boy, the prisons are getting funded. <gasps> oh, military though. Military is interesting. Mm -hmm. Shooting it up to a total of 10, which is a very big number. Right? That's a very big number. That's a massive number. <laughs> Which, you know, as long as it remains loyal, is, is all good, but... Mm-hmm. Ten seconds. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Scheme your schemes. Yeah. Okie doke. And there we go. Results are in. Buildings funded for more prisons. Private uh, prisons, even. Yep. And fortress up. Dread FGC really wanted those prisons. Wow. Prime Name TV and Dread FGC. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. All right. And on a cliffhanger. About your air. With a silent H, I guess. <laughs> yes. Your marriage to Marta has grown stale. Oh, you get along well enough, but you've made some good memories together, but there's no spark. She cares more about perfecting her combat moves than your happiness. But spark or no spark, you still need an heir. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. <laughs> no head? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Mother, I'm trapped. <laughs> it ain't great. Oh, don't be so dramatic. We've done well so far, but something still is missing. An heir. You need someone young, whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard, or the youngest of your many cousins. Turns out, you can't have babies when you're labbing too hard. <laughs> Shit. Born by the lab, defeated by the lab, rendered asunder. <sighs> Yo. <laughs> Top right option is pretty sick. Yo. <laughs> I mean, you absolutely can. You can. But let's be real. Right? How often do you get a chance to go to the character select screen? And fucking make it and pick a top tier. That's good. Starting from the bottom. Wide variety. Now we're here. All right. Let's check out the character select screen. What are we doing? Run it. Run it. Mm. The nobles won't be too happy with a lowborn child being elevated to the status of a royal. I urge you to reconsider. Will they accept the child? Hand of the king? Mm -hmm. Here's my thought. What's up? Uh, my enemies are at the gates. They are merely one dot away from accomplishing their schemes. It's late in the game, no heir has been found. We approach a time where I can't really afford to not have one. The choices offered feel like they might take time to, for an heir to exist. Okay. This seems like a fast option because there it is. Yep. Therefore, the fastest way to solve the problem feels like the wisest way to solve the problem. Now, it might bring out some complications, of course, mm. but I feel like the other options may result in no heir. Hoping to find a bastard somewhere, maybe. Hoping to get the spark going, maybe. But this one... That's a whole lot of work. It's a whole lot of work. This one feels like it guarantees a yeah. baby. It just might upset people. But the others might have no baby. Therefore, I think we got to get the show on the I road. I didn't think the king would have to like entertain a, like a, a full relationship. You know to, what I'm to saying? To have what he wants. We don't got to fucking... We don't got to dance. It's going to be so much work. Just, you're the king. Just take it. It's right there. You right? And if we just walk and look and see which of the kids is is doing uh, 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 fucking deadlifts with a bastard sword of adult size. Yeah. I'm taking that one. That stonks. Right? For the future. So this makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, good. My mind is made up. I'm sure history will remember you as a champion of the people, if it remembers you at all. I'll make the necessary arrangements. 
You hey Hachi the child. And one of them's gonna crawl back up. Good, good. Right? Pick an orphan. Orphan's like Doria! Ah, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Wait, it didn't flash. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. It's not, it's not the best one. What the fuck? <laughs> don't you don't you understand what a star means when you see it? <laughs> gunpowder. Are we still talking about gunpowder? Your Highness, the Barons of the March are attempting to amass a store of gunpowder. You know, the explosive black powder from Kir. And where can I get some of that? Kiev is the only place that produces it in large quantities, your majesty. The Republic is very careful about controlling their supply, and unfortunately, they're rabidly anti-monarchist. <sighs> the barons have established contracts with Kirth merchants, no doubt at great expense. Without the coin to purchase more powder, however, their plot will fail. But I can't do X-acts and Max-acts with my weapons unless I have gunpowder. You see, if I just frame when I swing my sword, Reggie, I need some gunpowder to ignite to make the whole thing explode, mm. but... As it stands, the Baron's trade is strong enough to procure a large gunpowder stockpile. If you wish to stop them, you'll have to act fast. You bring the revelations, which the Baron's wholeheartedly deny to the Council. Mm -hmm. What should the Crown do about the alleged import of gunpowder from Kirf to the march. Slap heavy tariffs on all imports. Threaten Kirf with sanctions for supplying gunpowder to the barons, delay scheme for one season, or allow the barons to import whatever they please. Hmm. If you slap tariffs, the trade will go down and defiance will go up. If you threaten them, their scheme is delayed for a season. Well, those are both interesting options, but I think I'm going to let them do whatever they please. Wait, no. You vetoed that. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, no. I meant to select the, 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 to, to emphasize that one. Well, that was a mistake. Hmm. Mm hmm Interesting. Interesting. Look at that. Look at that, eh? Isn't that informative? Look at that. No matter what, no tariffs. No matter what, no tariffs. Interesting. Mm hmm mm hmm Whew. Heavy tariffs on all imports to the march. They were willing to go for, uh... For the delay instead, for the delay of game. Predictably, the barons roar about unfair treatments and the prejudices prejudices of the council, but the tariffs are passed nonetheless. Well, looks like they're now down to modest, and they're now aloof. Mm-hmm. The new laws certainly put a dampener on the barons' efforts to purchase the expensive explosive. You can only hope it will be enough. I'll send them a gift of rabbit meat for their troubles. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. And then the night of the Crimson Vigil. Now, what's this about? Oh! <laughs> the Crimson Vigil takes place in the bleak castle atop an eastern hill. Your journey takes weeks, and your baggage train keeps getting stuck in bars. Well, if you told me to come to this blasted thing, then you're coming with me. Don't worry, it's worth it. I promise, I swear. You're in the carriage with me. Yeah. You're dressed up as me, too. <laughs> well, uh, what? <laughs> Put this on. <laughs> Guess as a Crimson Vigil compete on who can dress in the most ghoulish and frightening costume. What did you dress as? A demon with horns, hooves, cloven hooves, and red skin. Oh, no. Says we can't eat those in the Bible, by the way. 
A dragon with a gem studded with gem studded wings and a golden tail. A ghost in tattered clothing draped in with clanking chains. Wow. Look at that. I shall be attending the Crimson Vigil as King Biffo. <laughs> You have no wish to partake in this nonsense. When Count Dapper Cactua sweeps in, dressed as a li living corpse, he looks disappointed by your lack of costume. Defiance is now aggrieved. No costume, your majesty. A shame. Everyone was looking forward to seeing a royal effort. Yeah, well, I could have turned you down. I showed up. How about that? That is fair. How about the fact that I showed up? Please remember to stay in the upper levels. The dungeons are out of bounds. I am your king. What the fuck does out of bounds mean? Literally what? No costume, no dungeons. <laughs> oh shit, it's a hard rule. In the ballroom, you find the counts gathered, all dressed up as frightful monsters, wolfmen, pumpkin heads, witches. A waiter glides past, holding a tray of sandwiches. A pianist plays a mournful tune. Is it one of those dungeons where uh, consent mm -mm. <laughs> up front? Yeah, okay. And you don't have the proper apparel. That didn't get dressed properly. My mistake. I'm sorry. Crimson Vigil begins at midnight. What role will you take? A mourner? Will you play a portrait? Uh, port willing, are you willing to portray a hound of the betrayer? Mm hmm. Can you tell me more? Even though everything about this is apparently a fucking secret, you have to find that at the last second. <laughs> Surely you're familiar with our customs, your majesty? If you're unsure, you should stick to being a mourner. I like the sound of the hound. Mm-hmm. The counts gather. After Count Dapper Cactra delivers a short speech about remembering the old ways, a flaming crown is placed upon his head. Okay. Crown for a king. I will be playing the king in exile this, e this evening. The hounds of the betrayer will try to catch me, but fear not. I'm swift as a falling star and old as the hills. The fuck are these fucking counts up to? What are, we, what are we doing? He's all greased up. I'm chasing him in a fursuit now? <laughs> Yo, hand to the king. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Dr. Castro runs down the corridor, flames licking behind him, and you give chase. A dozen other hounds of the betrayer run alongside you, howling and yipping enthusiastically. Yipping. Yipping. All right. Nippon. Nippon. Not Nifon. <laughs> Somehow, despite the silly costume and massive flaming hat, Dapper Cactuar is quick on his feet. Catching him won't be easy. Yip in hell, Cactuar. <sighs> well, I suppose... Damn, you got a good chance of chasing after him. Uh-huh. 70% chance of something. Of something. But we don't know what something is, do we? Hand of the King. Hand of the King. Yes. Can I ask for your opinion here? Mm-hmm. We have a 70% chance of something we don't know happening. Right. We have a 100% chance of defiance going, uh, up. going up from 5 to 6. Or a 100% chance of Defiance going down from 5 to 4. Uh, therefore, keeping it below my stability, though not my authority, correct? Uh, say that again? Keeping the Defiance below my stability, though not my authority. And of course, dropping stability to 4... Mm. Mm. 
Decisions, Decisions. Reassessing. Okay, hold on. Defiance go down. I want this number lower so that they're more loyal. Because when this number can meet, reach this number, yeah. or when this can be dropped... That would be bad for you, right? Correct. Rebel, right? Therefore, 100% defiance going down is a sound decision, is it not, Hand of the King? Sounds like it. Okay. But... What about that chance, though? What about it? All right. That's fair. You Hand can. of the King, I don't know if your advice is to be... You're giving me real fucking... I'm questioning. For the first time. That's a lie. Wow. For the second time, I'm questioning. This entire affair. Well, we have a chance of winning the vigil. To your surprise, the counts are ecstatic that the king in exile evaded you. They declare it a good omen and smash a bottle of red wine in celebration. Dapper Cacturar does not reappear. Enjoy. Have fun. I'm taking the fursuit with me. After that, the music is more cheerful. The counts dance and chat long into the night. At dawn, you board your carriage and begin the long journey back to the capital in your smelly suit. Do you know how hard these suits are to wash, man? Yo. When that when that fur gets caked crispy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. Alright, where stand we then? We stand above fifteen hundred. We stand above four stability. And we stand below five trade by the barons. Not a bad standing, if I do say so myself. What do you think, Hand? Pretty satisfying. I thought it would be worse by now. Mm -hmm. End the season, then. What a good hand you have, King. Black this one? Hand. I know, right? Blackmail and bribery. Up in the north... Chief Common Curium has gathered his fellow plotters for a hike through the mountains. Some of our bribes have been accepted, but not enough. The king is paying the palace watch well enough that their loyalties aren't easily swayed. So we have some of the watch in our pocket? Isn't that enough? Nay, not yet. We can't make a move until we're sure we won't be discovered. Now back to this bottle of fucking mead. The chief's aim is to lower the treasury to 1500 or less. They love to keep talking about it. If only they could get to the bottom of that glass, <laughs> they might get something done. But we'll see, won't we? I'm salty about Marta, man. Yeah. I, I'm salty about Marta, guys. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Pair of counts face each other in silence. A code word is exchanged. They speak of their latest schemes. Mm, what happened? The kingdom was meant to be a whirlpool of chaos by now. It's more like a whirlpool of smiles and hugs. No demon will come anywhere near it. Shinjakin Demo says. The count's aim is to lower stability to four or less. In the Grand Hall of Baron Lateral of Floof's castle, a number of figures are hunched around the earth, plotting away. Uh, hearth hunchers. Oh. Uh, Hale, how goes the powder hoarding? Not nearly fast enough. They keep raising their prices. Our trade is too weak for this. Damn tariffs. We're working on it. So these halls will be overflowing with a black powder. And then you might want to take a few of these torches down, eh? These houses pay such little tax, it's hardly worth my time. The Baron's aim is to raise their trade to at least five. Everyone's got goals. Whoa! End of turn taxing. Whoa! Look at this blue wave over here. 
The, the blues are rich. Damn. Well then. Trade bonus. The chiefs invest wisely in local breweries, making 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. Mm-hmm. 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 I see. Well then. Uh, I mean, guys, red sweep was a red sweep, but we can't replace the red sweep with a blue sweep, right? Like, we understand, after all, that, like, the whole point is to not recreate. I mean, Baconator, you get it. You get, you get, Baconator gets it. Baconator gets it. He understands, right? You guys, hey, hey, hey. Last time, you played the other side. Now, we just ba balance. Time to give back. Right? Know? Stimmy, y'all got the stimmy, and in exchange, right? Balance. The North remembers, right? The North remembers those deals. The North remembers those sick ass discounts. The North remembers the stimmy. Therefore, the North should understand where this is coming from. That memory should make you see the balance here. Yeah. Payback. You gave me a wife, and what did what did she give me? Nothing. What did she give me? A lot of a lot of Johns. Minus buttons. <laughs> How about that? What did Marta give me? Baron. Not the position. <laughs> Not great. Not great. Speaking of the barons, what are we doing here? All right. Y'all are trying to figure out your trade situation. And uh, currently, you're a little bit ornery. Mm hmm. The counts are very ornery. And they're trying to figure out how to lower the stability. So, once again, I implore the counts to chill. But the treasury gets affected <laughs> in a not so insignificant way. If the barons could just, if the Counts can chill, and the barons can also chill. Everybody chill. <laughs> Everybody yeah, chill. Yeah, but 304, 303 ain't much. 303 is better than 205. 18 is too close. 313. Ayo. Oh. Oh. Ayo. <laughs> Yo, everybody from the 313, put your motherfucking hands in the air with me. Oh. oh. Everybody from 313, put your motherfucking hands up. <laughs> Now, while you sit there and try to act tough, notice that this man did not have his hands up. <laughs> Shit. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Three, one, three. Let's go. Lock it in? I'm locking it in. I'm standing on the stage saying, fuck the free world. <laughs> you got that, Clarence? Living in a house with both parents? Probably it's cool, motherfucker. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 313. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. 